Hey y'all and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm showing you three crock pot freezer meals. This video is also extra special because it's a collab with my friend Mel over at In the Kitchen with Mama Mel. She had the great idea for us to do crock pot freezer meals. That way I have dinners ready to go after the baby gets here. And I only have two days left, so I better get busy. She shares what's for dinner videos, grocery hauls, and just lots of good old Southern cooking. She's one of the sweetest people I've met here on YouTube, and I know you'll love her too. Mel also has a crock pot freezer meal video for you. I'll have that linked below, so when you're done with this one, head on over and check out hers. You'll be so glad you did. And stay tuned to the end. I'll show you exactly how these freezer meals turned out. And you may get a sneak peek at this little princess. Now let's get started on some crock pot freezer meals. This first recipe is tomato basil chicken. I got my bag ready. Make sure you write the name and the date on there. And don't forget to write any instructions on how to cook this. This recipe calls for heavy cream and cornstarch, but I don't like to add that until the day I cook it. And y'all, I don't have those fancy freezer bag holders, so I'm just using my blender. So to get this started, I added in four boneless skinless chicken breasts, along with an eight ounce can of tomato sauce, and a 15 ounce can of the Italian style petite diced tomatoes. Now for the seasonings, I added one teaspoon of salt, a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper, and two and a half teaspoons of dried basil. I also added in two teaspoons of minced garlic. Now I'm just pulling that bag out and zipping it up and make sure you get as much air out as you can. It would probably be fine to add in the heavy cream and cornstarch now. It's really the cornstarch I worry about, so I like to play it safe and add it in the day I cook it. Now this dinner is ready for the freezer. This next one is angel pork chops. I've got my bag labeled and ready to go. I also wrote on there to add three-fourths cup of chicken broth the day I cook it. And here's my bag holder again. <laughs> I really gotta get some of those green bag stand things. I'm just gonna go ahead and order some cause I can see me doing a lot more freezer meals in the future. I'm using a little over a pound of boneless pork chops. I added those to the bag. Next, I'm adding in a can of cream of chicken soup. Now I'm adding in a packet of Italian dressing mix. You don't have to make the actual dressing, just add in the seasoning. You'll also add in four ounces of cream cheese and three tablespoons of butter. And that was it for this recipe. It is really so easy. This is one of my family's favorites and you can also do this recipe with chicken instead. So if you're not a fan of pork chops, try chicken. Now in the freezer, this goes. This last one is shredded Mexican chicken. This was a new one for me, so I was really excited to try it. Now for this one, you don't have to add anything the day you cook it, so it's pretty simple. I've got the name and the date on there and how long to cook it. And it was this recipe right here that made me decide that I needed to get those bag holders. You'll need two pounds of boneless skinless chicken. I added those in. This recipe does make a lot, but it's a great one to have on hand for the week. This was just an extra addition. It didn't call for it in the recipe, but I added in a diced up red bell pepper and a green bell pepper. Now add in a half a cup of your favorite salsa. And I will have the recipe linked in the description box below. I was out of brown sugar, so instead I used three tablespoons of Swerve. And for the seasonings, I added one tablespoon of chili powder, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon each of ground cumin, 
garlic powder and onion powder, half a teaspoon each of smoked paprika, oregano, and pepper. Next, I added in a four ounce can of the mild diced green chilies. I'm pushing it here. I still have one more thing to add and my bag is getting very full. This is the last thing though. One can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. Do y'all make a lot of freezer meals? And if so, which ones are your favorites? I enjoyed making these so much, I can't wait to make some more and fill up my freezer. I think next time I wanna make a few casseroles to freeze. And these are also great to make for someone who's maybe having surgery or having a baby. Then they can cook it when they want. I just wanted to jump on here real quick and introduce you to my sweet baby. Her name is Lainey. <laughs> Say hey y'all. <laughs> and I want to say a big thank you to Mel for collabing with me on this. If you're not already following her, be sure to do that. I promise you, you will love her. And if you're coming over from Mel's channel, welcome. I would love to have you here. If you need dinner ideas and dessert recipes, make sure to subscribe down below. I've been pretty busy here lately holding this little one, so these freezer meals have really helped out. Now I'm going to show you how they turned out. Now I'm ready to make this tomato basil chicken. So the night before, I just popped it in the refrigerator to thaw out. Then the next morning, you just pour it into your slow cooker. Mine was still a tiny bit frozen, but it's okay. I moved that chicken around just to spread it out a little bit. Now cover it and set it to cook on low for six hours. About an hour before it's done, we're gonna make a cornstarch slurry. I'm just gonna mix it up in a large measuring cup I usually use heavy cream for this, but I didn't have any on hand. So instead, I just added in one cup of evaporated milk. And to that, I added two tablespoons of cornstarch. Just mix it until all the lumps are gone, then add it right on into the crock pot. Now put the lid back on and let it continue to cook on low for another hour. After that, I remove the chicken. You can slice it into strips or you can shred it. I usually slice this, but I must have been in a shredding mood because I just ended up shredding it. Now you're gonna add all that chicken back into that delicious sauce. I gave it a really good mix. Then this is ready to serve. You could serve this over mashed potatoes or rice but we like to have ours served over egg noodles. And I just made some garlic bread to go on the side. This recipe is so good. It's one of our favorites. So when I was planning out my freezer meals, this is the first one that came to mind. And this is the angel pork chops. I set these to cook on low for eight hours, but it's always good to check them before that because mine only took six hours. The sauce in this, that cream cheese and Italian seasoning makes this amazing. And I serve this with mashed potatoes and green beans. I made sure to pour some of that sauce on the mashed potatoes. It is delicious. And like I said before, if you're not a fan of pork chops, you can always use chicken. But just look at that. Those pork chops were so tender, they were just falling apart. 
Now here's the shredded Mexican chicken. I set it to cook on low for six hours. Now this was something that I didn't think my husband would be a fan of. So I had all intentions on making this just for me to meal prep for the week. Needless to say, my husband loved it and devoured it. I did get some too though. Mine only took about five hours. You'll just wanna cook it until that chicken is cooked through. I removed it to a separate plate, shredded it, then added it back in. You can tell this really makes a lot of chicken and I thought it would last for a while, but it did not. I gave it a really good stir, then I let it sit for a bit just to soak up some of that liquid. This was packed full of flavor. There's so many different ways you can use this, but I decided to make some little burrito wraps with it. I laid down a flour tortilla, then added on some of that shredded chicken, and I did try to let some of that liquid drain off before I added it on. I just rolled it up like a little burrito. I roll mine halfway, then I fold the sides in, then roll it the rest of the way up. I decided to toast it up a little bit, so I added it to a pan with a little butter. I let it cook on medium, just until those sides got nice and golden brown. I topped it with sour cream, shredded cheese, and taco sauce, then this was ready to serve. I will definitely be making this again. We really hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out Mel's channel. I'll have that link below. Let her know I sent you and I will see you in the next one.